Hello, it's Anne from Veggie Minifique, and today we're making these delectable sesame cookies. So tahini, sesame, it's all there, and I'm gonna show you how to make them. So for this recipe, you actually only need what you see here. I know that's unbelievable, but it is true. These cookies are extremely pure, extremely simple, let's go with the word extremely, extremely healthy and extremely delicious. They are extreme. So first you take a bowl. Now this bowl is happiness incarnate. This is a lovely Tiffany bowl and I think it's gonna make the cookies taste better. So for this recipe, you're going to need sesame butter, almonds, sesame seeds, flaxseed, baking soda, maple syrup. That is it. You can call these miracle cookies, I do. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's make them. First, this is a new jar. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. We're going to add a half cup of tahini to the bowl. All right. So one thing you should know about these recipes, especially my recipes, is that it's a bit ad hoc, really. So it depends on your oven, it depends on your cups. I would say follow my instructions, sure, but then also if you think it needs a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that, as always, do as you see fit. So we've added our tahini, and now we're going to add five tablespoons of maple. It's a better sugar than say white sugar, you know, refined sugar. It's a better sugar. So I should count here, two, three, Four, and five. Excellent. So we're just gonna mix this up before we add in the other ingredients to create this delectable paste. Now, just as a little side tip here, this makes an amazing morning spread, how do you say that in English? This makes an amazing spread for your toast in the morning. If you wanna have a tahini toast, just like double recipe, double whammy, right? I'm making cookies, but if you just wanna make a delightful alternative to Nutella and like a billion times healthier, just mix maple syrup and tahini. Guys, life-changing, life-changing right there. This is where it's at. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to add a few more things. Now, we're going to add flaxseed. Why are we adding flaxseed? We are adding flaxseed because you really wanna to try to get flaxseed in your diet every day. And so that's why I'm throwing it in. It's actually not even necessary. The cookies work without it. I tried, I've been doing recipe testing and eating way too many sesame cookies. But I'm adding it because it's so healthy for you. So it gives you ALA, which converts into omega-3s, and it has this special thing called lignants. And you want those. So we're mixing that up. Next, we're going to make our flour. So you'll notice there's no refined flour. In fact, it's just almonds. And obviously you know that almonds are a delicious and nutrient dense food that we want to include in our diet. So of course we're throwing them in the cookies. So we are going to make our flour in this blender here. Pour in a half cup of almonds. You'll notice I didn't measure the flaxseed. That's because I'm kind of an eyeballer, but it's about a tablespoon. And we're going to blend, or not. So, let's blend. So you might see recipes out about town with almond flour, and you're like, I don't have almond flour. 
Actually, you do. You just need almonds and a blending device. I mean, you could even mortal and pistol those things if you wanted. It would take a while, but functional workout, right? So we're going to add in our almond flour to the top. You'll notice I'm using one bowl because ain't nobody got time for two bowls. There we go. I'll clean this later, I promise. Now we've got our almond flour, and before we mix, we're gonna add a little bit of baking soda because, you know, we need a little bit of a fluffification agent. And you're gonna add about a, a fourth of a teaspoon. Now you're wondering about these sesame seeds, aren't you? And you have to be patient. They're coming. So we're gonna mix up this batter carefully. I was contemplating calling these cookies calcium balls or zinc balls because sesame seeds are so rich in calcium and zinc. They're just absolutely something you really want to get in your diet because they're so delicious, of course, but they're also so good for you. And I think the sesame seed isn't lauded enough for its nutritional benefits. And of course, tahini is literally just blended up sesame seeds. And so as a result, you're really getting all those nutrients in, in droves. Okay, perfect. So the batter should be kind of sticky. It should look like this. And as tempting as it is to just eat it, if you do, you won't have any cookies, so don't. Okay. Now we're going to make them into little balls and do my absolute favorite part. So you're gonna take your sesame seeds and you're going to take your cooking sheet. So I'm gonna go get that. So here we are with our lovely cookie sheet. So we're gonna make little balls of delightful batter. And so it's gonna look like this. It looks kind of like a bliss ball. It is blissful. And we're just going to Roll it in the sesame seeds. Oh, I forgot salt. I forgot salt. This batter needs a pinch of salt. Let's do that. Because these, these cookies are really good with, this is too much. Okay, so we're going to add a pinch of salt to the batter. You should do this a little bit earlier, but I forgot. Okay, so. Actually, I'm gonna put this in here too. Okay, so now that we've added the salt, which was important because it really gives it a delightful little tingle of salt, <laughs> we're going to make these balls and we're going to roll them in the sesame seeds. Now this is actually extremely satisfying. You're just kind of like getting all the little bits of sticky batter all up in those sesame seeds. This is my absolute favorite part. What we're going to do is we're gonna make them into cookies and you're gonna take the bottom of a jar and you're just gonna smash them. It's so satisfying. Just smashing the cookies. It's almost like you're a kid and you're playing with Play-Doh. So now we've flattened all of our cookies and we're gonna pop this into the fridge for just 15 minutes. Oh, and if you haven't preheated your oven, now would be a good time to do that. You're going to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 355 Fahrenheit. Okay, so we've just removed the cookies from the fridge where they were for 15 minutes, and now we're going to bake them for about eight to 10 minutes. I recommend you do eight minutes and then you check and you see if they're golden. So let's pop these in the oven. Okay, so the cookies are done and we're just going to plate them for the final taste. They're nicely golden. 
I like to make them a little bit different sizes because some people like their cookies a little bit more crunchy than others. And if you do slightly different sizes, then everybody can find the cookie of his or her dreams. We're gonna let those cool for a few minutes and then we're gonna have the final taste. Are you ready for the final taste? Sesame cookies. Okay, let's see how I did here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my God, these are so good. They're so chewy. They're so nutty. Mm. Salty, but not too much. And you saw how many ingredients are in here. There's like four. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm, okay, so I'm gonna eat these. And I'll see you next time. No, I need to do an outro. So guys, there you have it. The most easy sesame cookie recipe you could ever imagine. And if I may say so, one of the most absolutely delicious. It's so easy, it's so simple, and it's so healthy, rich in calcium and zinc and protein and fiber. I mean, these are just like health discs. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and definitely make it at home and tag Veggie Manifique. And we will see you next time, especially if you're subscribed on Veggie Manifique TV. Bye. No!